Hi, it's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really appreciate it, especially with, excuse me, me not having so many videos up lately, but um, I've been busy with a 21 month year, year old. And um, so yeah, he's been keeping me pretty busy. It's all been great though, but I just haven't had time to color or haven't had time to make any videos because it's, most days it's just me and him and he doesn't take naps by himself. So I'm usually with him when he's taking his nap, um, usually mostly watching your all videos. Um, and then in the evening, he just goes to bed when we do, because again, we don't have a crib. So we do have a playpen, but it's in the living room. So, um, so we don't have anywhere to put him to just have him lie down by himself. That's safe where I know he can't get out and get into something. So he just goes down when I do. And um, right now, my daughter is, I'm going to spend today with my daughter, but she picked him up and she's going to take him on a few errands. So I have probably like an hour maybe to get some things done. So when she takes him and I have like that one or two hours, it's either make videos, get work done or get chores. <laughs> so um, I thought, you know, I'm going to take a moment to do my haul video. I bought most of this before he came so I've been wanting to get this haul video out for a while but I haven't had a chance so yeah it's a little life update um it's been really great he's he's such a good little kid of course he does you know he's a toddler so um and I think we're probably going to have him for six months maybe seven to nine at the most I'm not sure but I think that's about um how long we'll have him and but the 13 year old I think maybe a week or two more so I'm not sure about that but but um yeah so it's been pretty busy just keeping an eye on both of them so um the 13 year old actually hangs out mostly with my husband he takes him to work and uh, we have an apartment that we need to get rent ready so he's been taking him to do painting and things like that and he does his school at the regular job where he has a desk and he can sit down and do some some school because um, right now currently he's homeschooled so that's what's been going on and yeah so i started my diamond art channel it's diamonds for linda and i feel really bad because i haven't posted anything there and i bought I did buy like um, some of the diamond art canvases that I haven't had a chance to work on, which I'm really sad. I just look at them. But I did do videos for that channel. I just need to get them up. I don't do editing, so thankfully it's that doesn't take too long. But you know, making the graphic and just, um, I, I listen to it just to make sure everything is, you know, sounds okay. And then I make that graphic to go where hopefully people will say, oh wow, that's a nice graphic. Let me click on that video. <laughs> So that takes time, but I don't do the whole editing, which I know that takes a lot of time. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. Sorry it took a long intro, but it's been a while since I chatted with you all. And so, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this one. I'm filming this on Friday. I hang out with my daughter on Friday, so we're going to take the little guy with us. We usually go to lunch. We'll go to either the library afterwards or run errands. Sometimes we'll go to... Um, like half price books today we're actually going to go to half price books so i need to get some books for the little guy we're reading the same four books over and over and i want to get him a one of those cardboard bibles so that way he could look through it and i could read him some bible stories and then i don't know what else but maybe i'll get him some dr seuss or something like that just so we could have a variety and maybe i'll get him a bath book you know those books that are made out of plastic okay really getting into it this time so this is my my lovely haul. This is, this is a crate right here that I'm going to move out of the way. It's pretty heavy. And then I'm going to start with this. This I got from Sarah at Chronic Coloring Down Under. She's so sweet. Okay, got that moved out of the way. She's so sweet. She sent me this. I was a uh, the winner. I think it was her... Um, is it her thousand um, views or subscribers? But I was the winner of that and she sent this out. I'm going to try not to flip it over because it has her addresses on the other end. And I didn't take the time to cross them out. But she's so sweet. Look what she sent. She sent this beautiful tea towel. 
and I will always think of her every time I use it. So when I have things like this and I it and I use them, I just say little prayers and they're they're in my thoughts when I use them. So that is really neat. So thank you for the cute little tea towel. I love it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and like this and take it all out because it's yep, that's everything. She's so sweet. She sent a card and she has such nice penmanship. I'm just going to show you the front of the card. Let me just take it out like this. It's not, is that not the cutest thing? Special delivery. That's so sweet. I wonder if that's stamped. Well, if you're um, here, Sarah, let me know. Did you make this card? It looks like a homemade. Oh, yes. You know what? Yesterday I didn't, um, I didn't turn it to the back. Wow, that is so sweet. So I looked at everything yesterday, but you know, I had the little little guy with me, so I didn't want him to grab at anything. But that is so sweet. I love that. I will keep that. And then she sent some stickers. How fun is that? I love stickers. And look how cute, a little koala in the bath, eating pizza, sleeping. Oh, and look at these drooling. That is so cute. Oh, look at that one's waking up. And then she sent me some goodies, and I already ate one of these. Now, I will say I don't usually eat sugar, but after a hard day of taking care of an almost two-year-old, I said, you know what? I'm going to eat one of these, and I'm going to eat the other one, and I'm going to have this, too. <laughs> this one actually says low GI. Does that mean um, it's low in the glycemic index? But anyway, I'm going to eat these. Whether they have sugar or not, I'm going to enjoy those. And then there's this lip gloss. How cute is that? It's so cute, I don't even want to use it. But I am, I'm going to put it in my purse because I'm always, I need lip gloss all the time. I have to have one because I had surgery on my bottom lip like seven to 10 years ago. And it, they hit a nerve, so I don't, something went wrong and my bottom lip does not like moisturize itself. I know it sounds strange, but my top lip is fine if I don't have lip, like something like, um, like, like coconut oil or chapstick or whatever. Um, but my bottom lip, it's so, it gets so dry. And in fact, um, yeah, I won't go into that, but anyway, it's just, it, I need to have that chapstick with me or lip gloss with me at all times because I mean I don't have to but it's just horrible when I don't um so that will be that will be used and look at I needed some washi tape I don't hardly have any washi tape because um yeah I just don't well because it's kind of expensive um and now that I'm dining diamond painting which I haven't really started uh, I would need some so I've been meaning to buy some and so this is great. I did get some with my diamond paintings, but they're not, I don't think they have this much. Or, anyway, this is um, very, something I've needed. So thank you, Sarah. And then this one, I kind of wrapped it back up. I already opened it, as you can see. And look at she had this cute washi tape right there with the bear. And this is what I won. So I'm, I'm cleaning it here, here in my haul. And look at, I have been wanting this. So thank you, Sarah, so much for sending this. And then right here, we're thinking of, um, from her video that she shared these in was, you could put colored pencils right here and there's an eraser and a sharpener. And you could put a small coloring book here. So you could probably put several small ones. So I thought that was so sweet. Thank you so much. I know shipping is not cheap. I know it's expensive, so I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I felt a little bit bad for her just sending us so far away. I wish we could, yeah, that shipping just kind of gets you. Okay, so let me put my glasses back on. So thank you so much, Sarah. That was a really fun treat to receive. I got that yesterday, so I got it Thursday. Okay, so let me go ahead and start with, I'll start with the supplies. So I bought another one of these. Actually, this is on like on 
from Amazon. I have it on that um, subscribe and save. So I just kind of forgot about it and they sent me another one. But that's okay, they'll be used. These are those Derwin blender pens. I like to use these. So the nibs though, I notice on some paper, because the way it is that it does, maybe it's Amazon paper, I'm not sure what, but I noticed uh, it did, it's a little bit rough sometimes on the paper. So just don't press down hard. And that's probably what I was doing. Cause I've never had a problem with it before. And, I was, and one time I was using it and I'm like, hey, my paper is, um, looks like it kind of got roughed up. And then Jody at JI Colors, let me take my glasses back off. She uses an empty Copic and puts, um, what is it? Is it, I don't think it's mineral spirits. I have it, you know, where the stuff that you could um, you use on your, your colored pencils, especially your inexpensive ones to um, blend them together. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name actually. Maybe it is mineral spirits. I have some, so, so I need to put that in the pens, this Copic marker, it's empty. And I thought that was just such a great idea. I think a few other YouTubers do that as well. But, um, so yeah, so I got that. And I gotta keep putting my glasses on and off. And also from J.I. Colors, from Jody, she was using these mega colored pencils. And I try not to rush through everything. I feel like my intro was long and so I'll try not to rush. Sometimes I rush and then I'm like, gosh, I should have just taken more time after I watch other YouTubers. And I'm, I watch the whole video. So I'm just kind of always thinking like, oh, I'm not they're going to get bored. But with other people, I watch the whole video. So maybe y'all are watching, watch the whole video here as well. So anyway, I got this. It's Mega Colors. And again, this is from, I saw J.I. Color, Colorist Coloring. Jody have these. And I need to rewatch her videos because I bought them, not just for her videos. I wanted to add them to my collection because they're pretty unique. And Jody, if you're watching, what kind of sharpener do you use with this? Because I have a sharpener that I absolutely love, but um, it's like an exacto school school grade sharpener, but it doesn't. These don't fit. I mean, look at these. Are these not gorgeous? Oh my goodness. And they're, I love how they're chunky. Let's see if I could focus that. Look at that, look at that core. And they're dipped. And they have a name and a number. I didn't cut my nails today. I was gonna cut them before I did a video. I don't know why my hands are, like they're like, dry like the cuticles and all you would think with all the uh, oil I eat <laughs> like with my eggs and I put I put coconut oil and butter in my coffee in the morning you would think they wouldn't be so dry but aren't these just gorgeous so I am looking forward to using these and I did swatch them but I forgot my swatch book I need to make a checklist and then I'm like, oh no, I'm on a limited time with my daughter who took the little guy. So yeah, I was just trying to remember everything of what I bought. So hopefully I did. So I got those. Sorry if my voice goes in and out. I'm trying to stay close to the phone. And then I got these. I have a set of the Ergo Soft, but these were on sale for $18. This is a set of 25 or 24. And normally they're about $25 for the set. I can actually open it. Um, so they were $18 and I had a gift certificate. I said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and grab these as extras. I'm actually using them right now in one of my coloring books. I'm actually coloring. I got a little bit of coloring done two days ago. I have a, a butter, butter buddy color with um, um, cozy coloring and so I started on that because I need to get that done so it was nice I actually got a little bit of coloring in and then also from Jody 
she was using these on her channel. These woodless color pencils from right there. I know I can't, I can't uh, pronounce that correctly. But I thought these were so neat. And then they have these little, like little drawers. So I'm just going to keep them in the case. Or the cardboard, I guess. And this one comes out too, but I'm having troubles. So yeah, I'm just take, I'll take this whole drawer out so we could pick one up. Let's see. Let's just do that. So glasses go off again. This is what it looks like. And they have the name, the number. So I am looking forward to using those too. I need to, I need to get coloring though. Let's see. Okay, I'm putting my glasses back on because I was trying to put it on the black. I think I'm just going to put this aside carefully. So yeah, so these are really nice. I got, these were on sale and so were the big chunky ones on sale. I got them at, both at Blick. And then I think I shared these last time. I got the Cyper Top Colored Pencil 72 set. And I had quite a few break, as you can see. I guess I grabbed the wrong one, but they did send me another set. And then I haven't really sharpened them or anything. I haven't had time. So at least they sent me another set. So the ones that broke, I'll have another one in that set. So they're budget pencils. I can't remember. I think I paid like $15 for that. And then from Coloring Bliss, I bought some, the tan tone paper or tone tan. I forget how they say it. So, look at this. I got Bliss Toned Mixed Media Paper Tan. And this is one of her favorite tone tan mixed media paper. It has light texture, acid free. And those are some of the, so you can read a little bit about that. I want to get some of her watercolor paper too. I don't actually plan on using this anytime soon, but while I could afford it, um, so it's nice paper and I've been wanting to try to color on this type of paper. But again, it probably won't be for a little while. Um, sorry for all the noise with the paper. But I just want to have it in my stash so when I am ready, I will have it. So that's like with a lot of my purchases. I'm just purchasing them now while I can't afford them because once we move, we do plan on moving. Eventually, you know, I won't be able to afford my supplies anymore not like how maybe like a few here and there but okay so let's go into the coloring book so that was all my supplies I did get a few diamond painting supplies but I will put that on my diamond painting channel and I guess we could call this book let's see let's see thank you all I just want to thank you all all to my subscribers all, all those who have subscribed um and who have stuck around I really appreciate it right now we're just going not through a hard time but just a different time um so my youngest is 18 so you know having a toddler is like i wasn't expecting that although of course we don't mind but so yeah we haven't had a toddler around in so long so i got this from coloring bliss this is her new book coloring essentials a beginner's guide so i am looking forward to using this although i haven't even had time to look through it but and it's what's really nice about this is she has um like practice blending thirds and she puts the the right paper in here so there's I believe there's watercolor paper in here um I mean I'm not don't quote me on that like well you know what maybe not huh just but there's like good um colored paper in here the blending so it's not like this part's shiny paper, but this is like the really good paper. paper. This is her, either her colored um, mixed media paper or her colored pencil paper, I'm not sure. 
on our favorite colored pencil paper. I guess that answers that one. So it's really nice because it's not just all one paper. So this is a little bit expensive, but if you join her, her, um, her Bliss Academy, you actually get this for free. I think it's the 15, if you join them with the $15 one, and then you could have your own paper right here. Anyway, I'm not explaining that too well. So, let's, but let's move on to the coloring books. So, I saw this a few times, flip throughs on YouTube. So I don't know exactly the YouTuber that I first saw it on. Cause it's been a while. But every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I want this. Oh, you know what? I think I saw this on um, Nicole's Happy Place. That's where I believe I saw it. And uh, these are so gorgeous. And you know, I'm not even halfway there yet too. But maybe one day I'll just get brave. And even though my coloring will not look like that, or like many experienced colorists out there, maybe I'll just get brave one day and say it's okay. But I just love having it in my collection. I got it from Book Depository and I might have shown this in my last haul. But yeah, I just thought this was so cute. Like the illustrations are just so gorgeous. And it's just fun to look through. Sometimes I just look through my coloring books. Oh, look at that one. Maybe next Halloween, I'll feel like I could do this. Next October. So I got that. And then I saw this one on Sarah's channel from Chronic Coloring Down Under. Here, I'll zoom you in a little bit on this one. I don't like to zoom in and out because uh, sometimes if I zoom too far, too fast, then how embarrassing, you're gonna see my bed. So I got this one actually from Book Depository this time. I saw it there, so I thought, well, I'll try it. And I guess this is a Spanish version. But I liked how the pictures were more close up. So that is this one. And just so you kind of get the idea of the size, let me zoom you back out and see if I could do this without going too far. Let me do a little bit more. Oh, okay. So just so you could kind of get the idea of the size. It's a smaller one, but it's cute. And I don't know if I saw this on her channel as well. I'll just hold this one so I don't have to keep zooming in and out. But I also got this one from Book Depository. And although it has some of these wallpaper pages, it had enough um, pages that I liked. Oh, I mean, look at that. That is so adorable. I love Eeyore. I think a lot of people kind of identify with Eeyore. I'm, I'm such a negative person. At times I try not to be, and I've been working on it for years. And although I am a positive person, I am also a negative person, unfortunately. But yeah, so there were enough pages in here that even though I don't really care for these types of pages, I do like these ones. So I got that. And then with this one, I was going to do a flip through when I first got this, but I never got a chance. So this is Enchanted by Margie Sarna Sarnat. There, I actually found a diamond painting with one of her arts with the, it's a cat. So it's like with this cat or something, but with the cat face in the front, I'm sure you've all seen, seen it in her coloring books. So beautiful book. I don't have a flip through on my channel. I really want to get one out. Although I know many people have one already, but if I do get a chance, I'm still gonna, I'm going to do some of my flip throughs that I've been wanting to do. Just a gorgeous book. And then I got this one from Coloring Bliss. This is a custom book. And again, I know I seem to do this in every video, but did I already share this with you last time? I, bought, I got a lot of these. Um, these are, I believe her husband, Steve, took, took all these pictures. So I wanted to try them out. They're so beautiful. So we'll see. Look at that one. That would be fun to do. And then 
I got this one and I haven't even looked through it. A lot of these I haven't looked through. So I was hoping to at least have a few of these already done. Maybe I could do this page. This one looks easy enough. And that one. So I got this when it was on sale when they, I guess when they first come out, they're a little bit cheaper. And here's some extras. Oh, look at a witch. I would like to get that one. Is there a custom color chart in the back? And this is on Amazon paper. So yeah, I got this like really at the beginning of the month. And I also got this one as well when it first came out. I got it black line version. I just thought there were so many cute pictures in this one. If you sign up for their newsletter, you also get a free one. Oh, that is so cute. Let's see what what book is that one from? Fairyland. Maybe I'll get that one. She's so cute. And fantasy landscape. And then this one I've seen going around, and I believe uh, Doodle Robot is the one that first, or like first shared it that I remember of. I'm sure. Um, and I've seen others since then get this one. And when I first saw it, at first I I'm like, I really liked it, but I'm like, okay, I'm not going to get it. And then I saw it on a few more channels and I said, okay, well, I'll just get it. And I believe I got it on sale. Um, I don't remember now where I got it, but I, I do think I did get it from Amazon. It was on sale. So it has like this glow in the dark stuff on there. But a lot of pictures don't have it. So I wonder though when you're, this is such a nice picture. So I wonder, cause this is bumpy right here. It's kind of like raised. I wonder if it's gonna affect the coloring on this side. And that is such a cute one with the tree. Y'all know I love trees. So, you know, like this page I'm not interested in. This one's kind of neat. This one reminds me of that, um, the giant, there's a cartoon, I forgot the name of it. And now like this one, this one looks like a Wizard of Oz. So, yeah, I'll have to practice on a page like this. I believe Doodle Robot has a flip through of this one. I like this page. So, yeah, this is really neat. I like this one. I'm glad I got it. And the next one, I wanted to do a flip through of this one. But again, I didn't get a chance. And I know there's been, oh, there's probably already so many now. This is the new one. And I got it from Book Depository. And I can't wait to work in this one. I know I say that a not all my coloring books. So, yeah, I'm so glad to add this one to my collection. Let's see, I better put that back in the crate because my piles looks lopsided. And then I got this. This is that quick color picker tritone color scheme selector um this is you could get this in a download version or you can purchase it from coloring bliss with a full color and i do have the download because it came with the um the bliss academy subscription but i wanted to get it in with printed nicely so my i barely got a color printer but it doesn't print like this it's an you know, inexpensive one, like $80 or something. So, like if you want to do orange, it has all the orange combinations. And then it's also interactive in the beginning. You cut, I believe you cut these out. And I actually want to do a video. And you cut, or maybe this is the one you cut out. And then you cut all this out and then it, you, it tells you how to use them all. And same with this, you cut these out. And then you have 
you have these that you use. So all these are going to be cut out. And I was planning to have this done already. This was, I got this, like many of these books, I got them before um, we got the little guy and the 13-year-old. So they've all just been kind of sitting on the sidelines. Hopefully my voice isn't going in and out too far. I mean, too much. So and then I have these. These are the ones that were sent to me from um, Oli Colors. And I have a flip through of this one on my channel. And Sally Berry sent me these two. And I also have flip throughs of these on my channel. So I won't show too much of these ones. But I do want to thank the companies for sending me these. It's very kind. And I look forward to coloring in them. And then Sarah at Chronic Coloring Down Under. I believe she shared this one on her coloring channel as well and I really loved it was it this one I don't remember because there was another one I want to get from her channel but I haven't got it yet but isn't this so cute look at that look at he's eating his soup right directly from his, in his lunch pail yeah I remember those lunch pails and again, I haven't looked at the whole thing. Maybe I will do a flip through. It's just uh, hard for me to find time to do a flip through because I have to do them when somebody's watching. Watching. I should give him a little name, huh? Maybe we'll call him Toby. So, yeah. So I have to do things when, when he's being watched. So that one, I, I really like that one. I got this one because it said... Donald Duck. My sister loves Donald Duck. In fact, um, like all these characters. So I'll think, be thinking of her when I color those. And I was really excited to get this one. This is four coloring books in one. I love buying them when there's four in one because it's usually less expensive. And I haven't had a chance to look through this yet. I would like to do like a flip and chat with this. Since there's enough pages to chat a little bit. There were a few more like Halloween-ish books that I wanted to get, but I bought too many diamond paintings and I wasn't able to get any more coloring books like the season. Huh. This one looks like it's probably that one. And then, oh look at she's carving the pumpkin. How cute. So this one looks like it is this coloring book. That is so cute. Oh, creepy, creepy. So, and this one I believe is the first one. I think it says the names, let's see. That way, if you don't want the whole thing. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't give me the names of the coloring books. Maybe it's on... I got this on Amazon. It's Amazon paper. And then I also wanted to do a flip through of this when I got it. But I didn't get a chance to. So maybe I'll still try to get one before. Well, October is just a few days away. But isn't this really cute? I like that with the candy corn. Oh, I love this one. It's a mug. Anything with a mug, a tree, books, mushrooms. <laughs> I love all that stuff. So that one's really cute. And then these next two are, I got third party because not that I'm like that great at coloring, but I wanted to get some of the artist editions of um, Hannah Carlson books. And I was able to get this one. I'm not very good at saying the titles and all. Uh, Magical Dawn. I don't care for all the pictures in here, but there are enough that for me to 
purchase it. Like I really like the moon. I like this rainbow dust. Swan. The crown. Not too much into the bugs or the portraits, but you know, I like the cat. I like the gems. This one, I love this one because of the lights. Hopefully one day I will be able to um, make it look like lights, like glowy. So I do like that one. I think that's one of my favorite pages in here. And so this one, I think I got it for $16. It was, it was, um, it kept going up, up to $40, down to $20. And I put it in my cart and then finally it went down to 16 So I said, oh, well, maybe it's meant to be and I'm supposed to get it. I think I got this one for $11. And this one is actually Daydreams is, is my favorite book of hers. So I was really excited to get this one. I'm actually coloring that one right now. I think with ErgoSoft in the coloring book. So that is this one. And then I got this one. I was watching Pixie at Pixie Projects and she shared this one. And I just thought it was really cute. I I don't even remember the last time I watched Hocus Pocus. It's probably, I don't know. I don't even know if I have. But um, I just really liked it when she shared it. I like the, like that one's really cute. Look at that, so cute that page the whole book is whoops is really cute and yeah <laughs> that's funny well maybe not cute but you know what I mean I like the whole book there's many pages in here that I do like so that is this one hocus pocus and I got another one of these I think this, is this the new one I got? I think this is the new one where I got a notification that one was, um, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm trying to collect all of them. I need to write down the ones I do have. I have four, I think. So I want to get the whole collection. And then, oh, color, um, Colorfully Optimistic, Cory over there was sharing some watercolor books that she got. So, I I liked the illustrations, so I went to get some of my own. I don't remember which three she shared, but these are two of them. And I'll, I would like to do their own flip through, but... Um, so I like, there are some images in here I, I don't really care for. They're beautiful, but I'm more like into modesty. So some of them are not so modest, but like this one seems really beautiful, but yeah. So these are, this is on watercolor paper and I love this image. They're really pretty. And then I got this one, Dark Fantasy. I think I got a bundle of three. And then there were, um, yeah, I think I got these three as a bundle. And this was part of it. This one says 2018, this one's 2019. And it's on watercolor paper. See, like, I'm not too fond of this one. But there are, there are enough in there that was it was worth getting for me that I do like. And then this one is 2017. And again, it's on watercolor paper. That one's really pretty. So there, are, oh, that one's cute. There are a lot of pretty ones in there. I'm just, I just prefer the more modest type ones. So well, they're like half dressed and stuff. I don't really care for those too much. So this one is like the chibi, I believe, inspired type 
and I haven't even looked through them all. I'm gonna have a big mess when I'm done. So it came with this picture and here's, I didn't even say the artist's name. Here's where you could find the artist. Oh, okay, it's Sweet Kawaii. Kawaii, you know me, I can't say that word for some reason. Oh, look at there's a beautiful sticker too. How pretty. So it has this on it. I don't really wanna, want it to put back on, but maybe I'll see if I could get it off without ruining it. Or maybe I could get one out. So here's one. Maybe now I could get it off. There's another one. I'll just do a quick flip through like this. And then the last one I got is this Artworks collection. So I was asking her when she's going to get the English version back in stock and she said she's not. So I went ahead and bought this one even though it's not in English because the artwork is so pretty with all the pages colored. So, and the paper's nice. See, like, I don't really care for that one. I mean, the it's beautiful from there. <laughs> so, yeah, I just really loved how all this was in color because it gives you ideas. And then it's actually, I believe these are like tutorials here. So, she's actually going to get this have this one available in PDF in the future. So I just wanted the hard copy and then um, have the PDF to understand all these, what it says. But I just really wanted the hard copy so I could at least hold and look at it. I'm not a big fan of certain things PDF, like the Coloring Bliss, that's why I paid to have that one, um, the new book, I paid to have that one in um physical format so that is it i can't believe i actually went through all that i've kept you here for 42 minutes so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i just appreciate you listening and uh, with a little life updates so so yeah so remember to live a life filled with color it's so much prettier that way and if you made it to the end Maybe if you could put your, um, let's put an underwater emoji. You know how they have the different fish and they have the, the, um, crabs and the, the corals and all that coral, le coral leaves or whatever you call those. <laughs> so yeah, if you actually made it. When you do make it, I wish we were all just sitting around having a cup of coffee and we were just, you know, looking at each other's books. But I guess this is the next best thing. So again, I appreciate it. So y'all have a great day. Remember to live a life filled with color. It's so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.